What is good, people? 2024, and I went vegan in 2018. It's been about six years since I've gone vegan, and I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons of going vegan in my experience. The first pro, obviously, is that I get to try all types of new foods in new ways. Like, I turned some of my favorite dishes that I grew up with into something that was way better than I would have ever imagined. Um, by replacing it with, you know, plant-based items instead of animal products, it honestly gives it a new taste, it gives it a new experience, and it makes you feel a little better about eating it, too. A con. One of the cons is that you're not going to be understood. People are not going to understand why you went vegan, even if, even if their first question is, what made you go vegan? Uh, they're going to continue to wonder, you know, the reasoning behind it. Um, there is no reasoning a lot of the times. Like, uh, you just kind of do what feels right, and that's what you should do in this life. But a lot of people would rather follow society's norms and fall into the matrix and get caught in cycles that ends up killing them at the end of the day. Another pro. Another pro is that you have way more energy. In all the documentaries that I've watched, in all the research I've done, and the experience that I've had, Going vegan will give you a boost of energy. It's gonna cleanse your system, it's gonna throw your system into a detox. You're going to get rid of a lot of the buildup in your body and your body's gonna cleanse itself out and really refresh uh, just within like a short amount of time of going vegan and taking animal products out of your lifestyle. I promise you, it's science. Another con, people will be in your business and people will ask you a million questions even if they don't have the intention of going vegan. And people will tell you consistently that they will not go vegan, they could never go vegan. Even if you didn't frame the question as, hey, would you ever go vegan? And I don't think any time in my life <laughs> have I asked anyone would they go vegan, yet I cannot, I can count on, I can't even count on my hands how many times people have told me how they would never go vegan and they couldn't do it and um, all this kind of stuff. Let me tell you something, the meat eaters that, that say that stuff to vegan people, it's not a compliment. It's honestly one of the most annoying things you can say other than what, what do you eat? Because there's so much research, there's so much, you know, there's so many vegans out there that are sharing their experience, sharing the food they eat, sharing their recipes, sharing kind of their background about it for you to meet one vegan and feel like you need to ask them every question that you ever thought about veganism. Please, they don't, they don't, they don't want to tell you unless they are like, dietitians or um, or if, they, if that's their, their realm, if that, that's their, their calling is to, um, you know, share the information of veganism with people. But there's so many good documentaries out there with that have great research, great scientists and just geniuses behind it that provide a lot of information that you can easily look up yourself. The third pro of going vegan, I would say, is just simply the moral part of it all, just feeling like morally sound. Um, not contributing to animal slavery, not contributing to the overuse and overwatering um, of just animal plants and things like that. And um, when I say animal plants, like where they actually, where they actually murdered the animals to turn them into food and uh, things like that, overusing water, when in reality we have no space to be overusing water like and contaminating water with, with animal byproducts. Like uh, not being a part of that, is a beautiful thing. Not contributing to the death, the mass death of animals and consumption of them makes me feel great. Um, so I would say like morally, uh, I just have like a, I feel like I have a more tuned moral compass after being vegan. Um, the third con of being vegan is that it's gonna take work. It's gonna take work. Just with anything worth getting is going to take work and time. You're gonna have to learn to feed yourself. You know, like you're gonna have to learn your feet, learn to feed yourself in a different way. Um, so like, even though I was saying earlier, like I've eaten a lot of the childhood foods and, and dishes um, and I've recreated those and stuff like that, it still took time. It still took um, very much doing the research and figuring out what's gonna taste good and figuring out what alternatives are actually good for you and which ones are just fluff. Um, so it's just a matter of like, you're gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to continue to learn. You're gonna have to learn how to eat. And it's okay because once you get the hang of it, once you kind of get get the ropes and you understand the basis of what it is to be plant-based, 
it's gonna be so much worth it. I'm six years in and I don't plan on going back and things just continually get easier, okay? They get easier, I promise. And things get tastier. Things don't stop getting tastier. That's the best part about, about being vegan. Vegan, that's a whole nother point. Things don't stop getting tastier. Now you will run into some gross vegan food, but then again, you'll also run into some gross animal products as well. So just think about the fact that it's your journey and you really have to cater it to you if you do want to go vegan. So that is my pros and cons. Those are my pros, or con pros and cons of being plant-based and uh, plant empowered. So just wanted to share that with y'all and I hope y'all have a 